What is up guys, Johnny Tsunami01 here with another FIFA 18 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about shielding. This is a great way to keep possession, also a great way to buy time for those runs. Extremely effective as a first touch guys. As always though, make sure to check out all my previous tutorials if you have not done so already and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any future ones. Alright guys, so to shield the ball you want to press the left trigger button, so the LT if you're on Xbox or the L2 button if you're on PlayStation. You want to hold that down. This is great for a first. One of the best uses for this move is as a first touch because it does two things. One, it allows you to receive the ball and have a better first touch so it doesn't bounce away from you. And two, it helps you shield from an attacking defender. If a defender is rushing out towards you, it'll help you shield against him. Here you're seeing a situation. A defender is rushing out towards me, a center back. I'm near inside that penalty area. Get the ball to him. As soon as the ball is about to reach me, so about this distance away, you want to start pressing that left trigger button, so the LT or the L2 button, and hold it down. What he's going to do, he's going to try to shield the ball with his body to get the defender on his back and not allow him to go through. In theory, the only way for the defender to take the ball away from you is either to foul you by trying to go through you or going around you, which gives you plenty of time to turn around and get right on by him. So here in this second situation, you can see a defender is about to run into my player that's about to receive the ball. The ball's a good distance away for you to start pressing the shield the ball button. And you're, what you're going to do is he's going to put his back, he's going to protect the ball and make sure that the defender cannot just take it away from me as soon as I get the ball. Plus, it's going to make sure that that ball gets to my feet and it's not just going to bounce off. He's going to try to comfort it in there and make sure it's a really good first touch. So after he receives the ball, he's still able to shield the ball, protect the ball. The defender, again, he can't really do anything unless if he tries to foul me. Buys me plenty of time for me to wait for that run to develop and find him for an easy pass. So very important there. The shield of the ball was great for the first touch. Not just for making sure I had a good first touch, but also to protect myself from that Russian defender and allow me time to see that run develop. A couple more examples here. Getting the ball to Son. Doing the protect the ball. The defender's all over the place. I can read what he's going to do. He's trying to play me to the inside. So I quickly turned to the outside and, and was able to score an easy goal. So it also buys you some time to read what the defender's doing and seeing where he's going to try to take away from you. This time he tried to take away the inside. So I went to the outside and was able to score one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper very, very simply. And then here, one last opportunity. The defender gets really close to me. I try to protect the ball. And again, I told you guys, if he wants to take the ball away from me quickly he's gonna have to foul me that's exactly what happens there and I end up getting a penalty so incredibly incredibly useful in these situations inside that penalty area all right guys the next use for this move is for breakaways but for breakaways you want to tap the LT button or the L2 button if you're on PlayStation what do I mean by that if you're in a situation like you see here a defender is trying to push and pull you off the ball. This happens a lot. It's a great way to take the ball away from an attacker is to push and pull. In order to defend against that and try to protect the ball against that, you want to do the protect the ball just like you would do normally for the shielding. But you want to tap it. Instead of just holding it down, tap it a few times. So spam it a few times, tap it repeatedly, tap the LT or the L2 button repeatedly, and this will make sure he jockeys for position. Now, like I said with the push and pull, there's a lot of different factors that go into if you're going to be successful with this. Position and player stats, momentum, all these things matter. So you got to keep that in mind. But more often than not, if you find yourself in a situation, you see a defender, he's trying to push and pull you off the ball. As soon as you realize he's trying to push and pull you off the ball, start tapping that LT or the L2 button repeatedly. And you're going to see that your player is going to start wrestling for position. And if he has the right stats and he has the right momentum, he's going to be able to just pull out of the way and get on a breakaway opportunity to score an easy goal. Lastly, guys, I'm just going to put it all together and show you some examples of me using this move in-game and what you should be doing with this move and how you should be using it. So this is a great way, like I said before, to maintain possession. So anytime you want to get a good first touch, press the shielding button to make sure he gets a good first touch. And then anytime a defender, you realize he's getting too close to you, you realize that he's trying to rush towards you and attack you and take the ball away from you, press that and hold the shield button. Press and hold it, and he's going to protect it. Keep in mind, you got to make sure that you're aiming away from the player that's attacking you. You want to get your back on him. 
if you don't have your back on the guy that's attacking you, then he's going to be able to easily take the ball away from you, and he's going to be quite sluggish to turn around. So keep that in mind. Want to make sure that your back is to the guy that's trying to attack you. If not, try to get your back to him before holding the shield button because that way you can do it a little bit quicker and that way you can protect the ball. Otherwise, he won't protect the ball. But anytime you're passing the ball, don't be afraid to press that shield button and don't be afraid to pass while still holding on to that shield button. He's still going to do a successful pass, but again, you got to make sure your shoulders are squared up to the person you want to pass to. You got to make sure that you're looking to the person that you want to pass to. If you are, he will still do an accurate pass, even if you're still shielding the ball while passing. Incredibly, incredibly useful as you're seeing here. Once again, anytime defender gets close to you, press and hold that shield button and just look for those players. Survey the pitch. See if you can see where they're trying to take you away from you and then go the opposite direction. Force them to either have to foul you or to go around you. And if they do that, you're going to be able to see a bunch of space open up for you and you're going to be able to score a ton of goals. So definitely recommend to incorporate this into your game, especially if you're having trouble with getting a good first touch and if you're having trouble with maintaining possession. But that is it, guys. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, please leave a like, comment, share with all your friends. Click on one of these playlists to check out some of my other videos. The rest of my tutorials got tutorials with everything FIFA 18. My top five videos are like my top five skill moves, my formation guides, and don't forget to subscribe for future ones. Thank you guys so much.